Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding count the number of experiments and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. Okay, let's jump right in. We are given a table called experiments with three different columns, experiment ID, platform and experiment name. Experiment ID being the primary key for this table. Platform is an enum type value with one of the values Android, iOS or web. Experiment name is again an enum type with one of the values reading, sports and programming. This table contains information about the ID of an experiment done with a random person, the pl platform used to do the experiment and the name of the experiment. Okay. We are asked to write a SQL query to report the number of experiments done on each of the three platforms for each of the three given experiments. Notice that all the pairs of platform and experiments should be included in the output, including the pairs with zero experiments. The order of the result doesn't matter. Okay, so if you see, there are three platforms, Android, iOS and web. And there are three experiments, right? Reading, sports and programming. So if you see what is the total number of combinations that you can have, you can have nine combinations, right? So Android reading, Android sports, Android programming. Similarly, iOS reading, iOS sports, iOS programming. Similarly for web, right? So in nine. So it says that from the table that you have, right? Even if there are zero experiments for one combination, you need that right so let's go through this example right so here obviously you don't have like all the nine combinations right so how many combinations you have one two three this is ex like these two are basically one right so four five so five out of nine you have like at least one and then for remaining four you have zero right so if you see ios programming you have one experiment ios sports one experiment Android reading one experiment, web reading two experiments, web programming one experiment and remaining everything is going to be zero. So if you see in the output, so you only have one, two, three, four and five. So right. So whatever you have, you have a number of experiments greater than zero is from this and the remaining ones like for example, Android sports, Android sports, you don't have anything here, right? But it is a combination, right? So here, if you see Android and sports, there should, it is a pair, right? So in that case, you have zero number of experiments. So this is what we need to do. Okay. So one thing here, which might come to your mind directly is here you have iOS, Android and web. So platform can take three values, right? These three values and experiment can also take three values, programming, sports or reading. So you might be thinking that if we, you know, take these distinct values from here and just cross join this table on itself, right? So we will be having like all the nine combinations and then let's keep the distinct pairs, right? So platform and experiment, right? But if you think about it, actually this will, this logic will work only in this one, right? Let's suppose there was no, let's say this line was not present, right? So even if you do a cross join, right? So you have iOS and web, let's say, and you have all the three experiments, right? But since Android is not present in this experiments, right? So even after the cross join, it won't have Android part, right? So that will not work in those cases. So we need to write a code that is general that can work in every condition, right? So the only way to do that is by hard coding it, right? So we need to make a, let's say a table with one column called platform where we hard code these three values. Similarly for these ones, because why we are doing hard coding and not, you know, directly doing the cross join of distinct values of this. Because again, if there is a case where one value of from the platform or one value from the experiment is missing, even after the cross join, you are not going to get all nine possible combinations, right? So that is what we need to do. So let's start with it. Let's say we are uh, making a table with only one column called platform with has all the three values, iOS, Android and web. Right. So how do we do that? We simply write return. Let's say first one is Android. So Android and the name of the column should be platform. It does not matter, but like for simplicity sake and for the sake of, you know, continuity, I'm writing this. 
then what we need to do is you union this with return web right and then union right you need return ios right so let's run this and see we are getting what we want to get right so here if you see you have the platform table uh, column name and you have the three values android web and ios right just for the simplicity sake you know uh, let me just write it like this so that you know it does not take a lot of lines uh, okay so you have this right so this is one thing the same thing that we need to do is with experiment ream right so let me write similar stuff right so select let's say the first one is programming right so programming and then the name of the column as experiment name right and then union select let's say sports right and then you union and then you write select reading right so reading okay let me just you know run this let me just you know just cut this out so that you know we can make sure that we are still getting what we need programming sports and reading the name of the column is experiment name right so you have these two values right so what you can do is from these two you can now perform a cross join and every time you perform a cross join since you hard coded these values so there is going to be nine possible combinations right so what we can do is this thing you know this can be your one table right with one table with one column with three different values right similarly this is table 2 one table with one column and three different values right so let's alias this as maybe let's say t1 let it let this table be t2 right now what we need to do is you need to cross join these two right cross join and since you are cross joining you don't need a on clause right and let's write this so this is table 1 this is table 2 you are from this table you are cross joining another table so you can write from this table cross join this right and once you are cross joining what you are returning you are basically returning both these columns right platform and experiment name so let me write return platform and experiment name columns right so basically return both the columns okay so, or you can just simply write select star as well does not matter like let me just write select star right so let me just run this and let's see if we are getting all the nine combinations so here you have platform and experiment name and you see right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 right so you now have all the nine combinations in every case and it does not matter or, or depend upon this experiments table right so once we have this then what we can do is let's store this entire thing in a common table expression right so with cte as and then this entire thing goes in the parentheses okay now the second thing that we need to do is from this experiments table let's find out that whatever combination is given how many experiments were performed right so how will we do that so from the experiments table right so from the experiments table you group by the platform and the experiment name right and then you simply return the platform and the experiment name right and the Num count of experiment id right so count of experiment id because since this is a primary key of this table so non-null unique value so if you count this that is going to give for each of these combinations what is the number of experiments performed right so count of experiment id and let's alias this as number of experiments right so this is what we get from this right so let me now again run this to see like whatever we are getting from this is what we are actually thinking it is returning right so here if you say right platform and experiment name and number of experiments ios programming so from this ios program you have one uh, web reading you have two right so similarly web reading you have two experiments etc so you have this now basically what you have there is one 
table or one common table expression you have all the nine possible combinations this is another thing and if we store this in another common table expression so this now has the number of experiments of some possible combinations right so what we can do is let's save this in another common table expression so cte2 as this entire thing again goes into parenthesis right and now the only thing that we need to do is we can join these two common table expressions keep the platform and experiment name columns because that we need in the output and then we also keep the number of experiments from this common table expression too and wherever so obviously right so here you have all line here you may or may not have all line right so when you join this right when you write ct from ct left join ct to on platform and experiment name right so whenever you will find a match you are going to get the number of experiments column but when you are not going to find a match you are getting null values right and then you can use the if null function that if a certain thing is returning null you just instead of that you just write zero right so let me write this to tell you like what i mean so from this common table expression cte let's write this as c1 left join the second common table expression ct2 aliased as c2 right on so both of this has platform and both of this has experiment name column right so we write c1 dot platform is equal to c2 dot platform and c1 dot experiment name is equal to c2 dot experiment name right so now this will return certain things right so here we return select c1 dot platform right c1 dot experiment name why we are returning platform and experiment name from the c1 value and not the c2 uh, common table expression because you are performing a left join of ct that is c1 on ct2 right so here if you are not going to find a match because as we saw right ct2 may or may not have that combination so it will be having null values in that but since this c1 or ct1 has the entire nine combinations so it is always going to be present there right so that is why we are returning platform and experiment name from the common table expression one right and the third thing that we need is number of experiments right so number of experiments is in the common table expression two right so c2 dot number of experiments right but remember whenever you will not going to find a match right so that is going to right so if, when you are not going to find a match that is going to return null right so in that case what we can do is we can use the if null function and say that if null so if this value is null you return zero and let's alias this as whatever the output is right so this one okay so this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output right here if you see you have one one and then android programming you have zero right so android programming we have zero similarly for all else right let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yep this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again we need to make sure that why we are hard coding this and not using the this experiments table because at times it is possible that platform or experiment can have like not all the three values so that is why we are hard coding them and then crop making a cross join so that there is all possible combinations available why because the question shows says that that all the pairs should be included irrespective of like whether they have zero experiments or more than zero right so that is why we did that and then from the experiments we found out like how many experiments some of the combinations have and then join these two common table expressions so that like wherever you have something you get that value wherever you don't have something you just you know replace it by zero 
and that is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of doing this solution let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video